Welcome back to Holland Savelled for episode 9 of the co-op Let's Play with Sealy G and me, Mr. Sealy P. We're back everyone. Hello. Hello. We have uh, a lot planned for today. Or I believe in Dutch is hello. It's hello rather than hello. Yeah, someone actually commented on my video saying that they were very impressed that you spoke Dutch. <laughs> well, yeah, that was... Yeah, it was awful. I apologise. But anyway, <laughs> um, attempt. I'm very British. I do apologise. And people say, stop apologising. I can't help it. I'm almost Canadian for the amount of apologising I do. <laughs> I'm joking. Apolo <laughs> apologies to any Canadians I've just offended. Anyway, uh, right. So today's episode, um, we have got a few things we're going to do. I have sold my um, armour track. Um, for a yes. simple reason was, one, it's a little bit slow and I wasn't really using it. Plus, I thought as we were talking about this off camera and saying that as a kind of farming collective together, we needed a better spread of vehicles. So, Celie G sold her Fent and she's going yes. to buy another tractor, but something she specifically wants. I'm going to get a, a telehandler. Um, I am, and we've, we've just installed some new mods, haven't we? What did we just install? The let me get up because I always forget the name of it. Wouldn't that Eurus? Is Ursus. that how you say it? Ursus. Ursus. T127 Plus. Yep. That was by uh, then, Camelos0397. Yep, and then we have the Lizard TR10 Round Bale Trailer. That's by Not Ready. Yes. One is an auto load. Yep. Yes. Uh, no, auto. And well, auto stack rather than auto load, yeah. Stack collect. And then the other one is by hand. Yes. So, so we're that's... going to be doing two different types of we collecting are. today. We're going to collect our size barrels and we're going to sell them to make a bit of money. Um, yes. So Sealy G is going to go with the auto stack um, bale collecting rather than just an auto load where they pop on. I'm going to do it manually. We have also got installed the CSZ pack um, by DD Mod Passion. And we said we would start introducing mods gradually as we felt we needed them and the things we wanted. So those are the three that we've included today. Um, so first things first then, we need to get... Um, First things first, I'm a realist. Yes. Yes. Uh, anyway. Uh, I'm getting a tractor. I'm getting a telehandler. So, oh, options. Well, no, like I say, we've only got base game stuff at the moment. So, I think I might just go for the class scorpion. I really do like that. Oh, I like that. Well, the Massey Ferguson's cheaper at 93 grand. It's only three grand difference, isn't it? Uh, yeah, I'm going with the class scorpion. I like it. Uh, stick with trailer balls, I think. Standard wides. Mm -hmm. Let's go with wides. Don't know why. Just damn. So. Oh, that's dropped my money down quite a lot. <laughs> we need to make some money. I, how am I? I'm the guy that's supposed to know how to play this, and I'm absolutely hemorrhaging oh, money I like nobody's my business. my money down a lot as well. And Sealy G is she was sitting on i don't know how much she was sitting on loads mind you have I done a few 17 i'm on 36 because the tractor was actually with you were on 70 yeah but i thought you 7, just sold 000. your you just sold yeah. your fent for 159 and didn't I, you? yeah and then this was 190 with because <gasps> i want upgrades was it? oh okay oh blimey yeah look at that so yeah i suppose what i might do it's at some BC, point then as you've got about <laughs> as you've got a voucher now i might get one i might swap my voucher out for something else then later on because oh, otherwise, we'll... that. two Valtras running. Right, so then trailers. Um, you're going to go with the Ursus. I'm going to go with the. Yes. Um... Well, it's both um... under baling technology. So we're going to do, yes. like I say, two separate ways of doing it. I'm not using bale forks. I know there's various different. There's the smetaling, and there's all different ones available for doing round bales, and there's bale grabs and all that kind of stuff. Um, and I, I get it absolutely, and anyone can do it any way they want. Yeah, so this one is by Not Ready, and I just thought I'd have a go. I can't remember the last time I loaded bales onto a tray like this. I'm sure was on FS17, was it? Maybe I'm just misremembering that. At least that. It's only 892. So is going to be able to get way more uh, bales way quicker, which is great because we have got quite a lot to get rid of. And I think the best price we've found so far is up at Robert Arkin, isn't it? We said it's going to be where we're going to get rid of them. For 800 and something? Yeah, but we, well, we think it should be okay. Um, and then under CSZ, then I'm going to go for... A lot of people still ask me about this because if people are joining the channel and don't know and haven't seen me use it before, um, 
under all this stuff, I mean, there are like, say, there's various different bail spikes and bail forks, and the mul the wrapped bail handler is what you're supposed to use when you're doing wrapped bales, silage bales, which is fine. Um, you can use a bale spike, and I've said this before, whenever I've used a bale spike, and people get really bent out of shape over using a bale spike because you've pierced the wrap and all the rest of it, but I have mentioned a few times, there is a tape you can buy, um, and it's it's not, I mean, it can be used in silage bales, but it's used in all sorts of stuff, really sticky stuff. So if you do pierce the bales, or the bale get, wrap gets ripped, or something like that, you can tape it over. So you just put a couple of squares of that over the holes, and it's absolutely fine. It's no problem at all. So you can you can do it. But yeah, under the CSZ pack by DD Mod Passion, and this is one of my favourite tools in the whole wide world, is the big bag handler. Um, it's cheap to buy. It's even cheaper to lease, but I'm going to buy it. And this thing is my go-to for moving and handling anything. Whether it's realistic or not, whether you like it or not, that's entirely up to you. I love it, and I just find it so much easier. Um, so, in my new Scorpion... It's funny, isn't it, after I was talking in the last episode about creepy crawlies and things that bite and sting or whatever, I go and buy a Scorpion. How oh, interesting. Someone actually commented under my video saying that they went camping once and when they were then like taking down their tent there were a family of scorpions under oh, his bed. Oh no, I just, oh, the whole thought of it. Oh, thank you to everyone for their comments, for all the different stories and all the things people tell us. Honestly, listening to some of them, I just kept getting chills down my spine. How do you live in places like that? I don't, oh. I, someone... At some somewhere in Australia, is it South Australia? I'm not sure. They said that from a young age they're kind of taught like the dangers. Yeah. Oh, I, suppose, but I guess yeah. it becomes like second nature to those people. It's like anything, it? isn't it? I suppose if you're used to it, it's part of your day to day, and you know how to deal with it, it's absolutely fine. And I suppose you're not, you don't have an aversion or you're not terrified of them because it's normal to you. I suppose it only yeah. becomes a terror if you're, you're just not used to it. Right, so you're heading down to your fields first and you're going to collect your stuff up. Yes. I'm going to just have a crack down there and do a bit of manual loading. And then we're going to sell them, and like I say, the money will all go... Actually, no, I should get mine, shouldn't I? Unless you steal money to buy silage and then somehow you get the money when you sell it. That happened I, last I, time. I gave you the money back. I know, but still... I paid you every odd. penny. <laughs> so, like I say, with this thing... It's just, honestly, it's so easy. Up we go. Yeah, not for me, it wouldn't. Be like, logging all over again. And the great thing we're using this as well is um, that when you come to actually load it onto something, because you can just release the straps, you haven't got bail grabs in the way, it, it should go down and sit, he says, not coming onto that straight at all. It should go down and sit fairly nicely. Like so, and on it goes. Job done. You know, I've, I've often used ones like this. I think I did on Ray... Oh, I might have been Ravenport. I'm sure I loaded a trailer up like this on, with Ray, on Ravenport. Um, and it took ages. And you, they don't always sit straight and they can be a pain. But I just thought I haven't done it for a while, so give it a go. I like your new class scorpion. You do like the class machinery, I, don't you, Jeremy? I do. So. I just... You wouldn't think, like, a lime green and red would go together, but it does. But you say that, not everyone likes it. I know when, I the, love the, it. when the new Lexin came out um, and a few people had commented and stuff when we did videos and people said they don't, they just think it's a disgusting colour. And, and and that's the thing, isn't it? Everyone's different. Not everyone's going to like everything, are they? I mean, at the end of the day. No. I suppose that kind of brings us on to the next thing we were going to talk about, wasn't it? Everyone was very happy that we got rid of seasons. Well, I say everyone, not people, everyone. Yeah. A few people were a bit disappointed because they were enjoying it. But majority. Yeah, and when we did say, when we, when we mentioned it in the last episode, that not everyone was going to be happy about it, and not everyone was going to like it. But there's a couple of things we wanted to clarify, I think, because whether it was just lost in translation or people. I know some people don't always. They kind of skip forward or they miss bits. I don't know why people do that, but it's entirely them. Um, in that, we were very clear about why we decided to do it. And, it, and a lot of people were saying, oh, you just stopped doing it because it's too hard nothing to do with that at all. I just no... wasn't really having fun with it. Yeah, we had no problem at all. We, we could have, I would happily have just ploughed on, just carried on going, and we would have slogged away, and I've, I've got no aversion to things being hard, difficult, complicated, nothing, it doesn't bother me at all. But the problem is, if we're not enjoying it, because when we're playing a co-op together, we're, we're coming on to have fun. Father and, and daughter, we want to come on, have a bit of a laugh, 
play, do a bit of farming, and we want you guys to enjoy watching it as well. Um, I honestly think... I really do think, when we said right from the very first episode that we thought it might be a step too far doing seasons. Bear in mind, you've got to remember, we're doing a Let's Play series. We're doing a co-op Let's Play series. Um, CNEG's just started a new channel, and we were doing seasons. It was a lot, all in one go. Was. Um, and we just and we said, didn't we? We spent hours talking it over. We went through everyone's comments. This was not something we just suddenly went. It's too hard. We're not doing it. And shut my toys away. Um, it wasn't like that at all. We we spent a long time yeah. deliberating over what we wanted to do, and we wanted it to be as much fun for people to watch. Now a lot of people are watching it, enjoying it, just for us chatting and, and us playing together. The farming almost becomes a kind of secondary consideration. We are still doing a bit of farming. Weirdly, I had a couple of comments of people saying you didn't really get much done, it was really slow, and then they listed a whole load of things we got done. I thought, well, but that is, that's a fair bit, to be honest with you. We when you get read a, out the know. list, I was like, we did actually do quite a bit, but it's, I did. guess it's personal. And opinions. again, like I said, you're not going to please everybody. Not everyone's going to be happy about it, and I totally understand that. We, we really do totally understand that. Um, um, and, and they said, well, yeah, there are plenty of YouTubers that are doing Seasons Let's Plays, and they're making it work. Fantastic. Yeah. I'm, I'm very happy for them. And people keep telling me I should do a Seasons Let's Play. I have. I, my Sussex Farms was a Seasons Let's Play. I have done Seasons. I've done Seasons videos like how-to and tutorials and all sorts of stuff. I do want to do another one. But I really do think it's more a solo play thing. Because often there's a lot of editing required as well. And that's the other thing we were going to talk about was the editing, wasn't it? Yeah. The, it is. Because it would be very hard to match up. Yeah, if we, you know, we are editing our videos and we do an hour straight through because it's easy, then we can lock the, the start off, the end off, tidy it up, and we're good to post. If we try and match up our editing um, and chop out chunks, and that then just makes it so much harder to do it right. So we were both a bit like, you know, we, we could edit chunks out, but that really overcomplicates everything we're doing. So we apologise to the people that aren't happy about it. We, you know, we did say it's not going to please everyone, but then a lot of people were very, very, very supportive and more kind of, you know what, we want you to have fun. If you have fun, we have fun. And that's kind of what it's all about. And it? it's, it's all about that. I, am, I, I do intend to do a, a Seasons Let's Play again. I Probably when I finish Stone Valley, the next one I do, I'll probably do a Seasons Let's Play. So what if I decide to do at that point? And CDG, CDG's not going to do Seasons as hers, but she obviously is going to start her new Let's Play. Yes, it's not going to be seasons. <laughs> no, no. Which, you know, at the end of the day, it's fair enough, you know. And the thing is, I, I didn't want people to come away thinking, if you're new to the game, Mr. Silly P's just said seasons is too hard. No, not at all. I love seasons. I think it's an incredible mod. I think I for think the immersion. It's insane. Oh, like it's how far crazy. the game has come to make it so realistic, you know, with yeah. the bales slowly decaying. Like, it's amazing. All it's the stuff you can do, perfect. it's a phenomenal mod. It, it really is incredible. But really, it isn't for everybody. You know, there are people that are adamant, I only play every single Let's Play I do now is with Seasons on. I can't play it another way. And fantastic. There are loads of people that say, you know what, I gave it a go. It wasn't for me. There are people that are persevering and say, you know, I gave it a go. I'm finding it tricky. But it's okay, I'm enjoying it. And that's, like we said, always said with this game, you play it however you want to play it, and if you like certain things, it might be certain mods you like. Hang on a minute, I've put them wrong. Am I in the right place? <laughs> Where are you, Robert Arkin? I think I've put those bales in the wrong place. Uh, I'm confused. Oh, the road is right here. <laughs> I'm right blind. Place. I'm blind. Strap there. Strap there. So you're already at Robert Arkin? I th yeah, I think I'll, I'll let so. you. I mean, you can have a chat about what you're doing at the moment. Then, sorry, I, I was kind of, kind of did my usual and started. Well, it's just a lot there. quicker than um, manually. Yeah, I'm Where just. I'm, I, am I in, I'm not in the right place. Where am I? I don't know. How do I get are. down there? How do I know where you are? Why won't that strap? Uh, oh no, this could go terribly wrong. Oh, am I supposed to strap these up one at a time then, as I go? Because I can't. Yeah. Have a look. Oh, there we go. That's better. Uh, do I need to go down? Oh, I do need to go down here. Oh, that's very... Oh, my... Whoa. It's a it's bit tight going in, is it? Oh, it's so tight. Uh, okay. Um. So how is that uh, that Ursus? Because that, obviously that's the modded version. The standard one only does eight bells. You've got 12 on there, have you? It's still very quick to collect, but I guess Was it it's... good? It worked right, did it? Oh, come on. Yeah. That's good. 
I think I'm going to have to strap these from the vehicle, I think, once they're all loaded up, because that's a bit fiddly. It'll Loving work, my new but... tractor. Cool. I do like being different with my uh, standout tractors. And then the, you know, the same thing again, and everyone's different. You know, when I do my mod reviews, and I've, what I always say, you know, it's my opinion. You know, there are certain things I look at and think, I really, really like that. Other people despise, you yeah. know. Um, there might be a tractor, right? You just, you know, a brand or a particular look that you really, really, really enjoy, and other people can't I stand. I like New Holland Blue Powers. They're yeah. pretty cool. That's the way it's always been. It's always been. So, did you have a good weekend, CDG? Yeah. <laughs> what? <laughs> Nothing at all. Nothing at all. That was the question I was going to ask in the last episode. Kind of, I'm, you know, I'm not. I'm not questioning anyone's parenting at all whatsoever. I was going to ask the question that as a parent, what age, at what age, do you or did you let your children try alcohol? I know the French are a little bit different because it's like wine and things from a very young age, wine is served at the dinner table. I'm going to have to know if that's still a thing or not, but it always used to be. And kids kind of grow up with it being fairly normal, fairly every day. Um, I've always had a particular view on this with regard to... I know when I was a kid, you know, I was out with my friends and, you know, you want to try alcohol. I know in America you've got to be 21, haven't you? In the UK it's 18 to be old enough to buy and drink and all that kind of oh, thing. But I think most people... Have you unloaded? Did you get rid of them? No. Nope. Uh-oh. Oh, no. Oh, ah! Sorry. What have you done? Okay, nothing. Don't worry. It's fine. It's what just... It's see, I very, can't see. No, it's very tight. I'm just struggling to actually lift the baler thing up to unload. Oh, okay. So I'm not really sure what to do. Ah. Uh -huh. Okay, do you want me to come over now? I'll be right. Um. I'll I want you to have a go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. um, um, yeah so I mean, like I, a... I know full well as being a, being a youngster myself one, once upon a time, um, you know, with your friends, you want to try it and, you know. I've always been of the opinion. If, if my kids were going to try it, I'd rather they kind of tried it in a controlled environment. Rather than making it so kind of, don't you dare, don't you ever drink alcohol, blah, blah, blah. Um, and it, your views on whether you drink alcohol or not are entirely yours. You know, if you've never touched a drop, hats off to you. Um, if you have a little bit every now and again, again, fantastic. You know, how much you drink, when you drink, whatever. It's, it's everyone's personal choice. Whatever you want to do is entirely up to you. Um, but... You know, my kids have always been very much if we've got a party or something going on when they were a little bit, not to say a little bit younger, you know, a little bit under the top legal age. I'd rather they did it at home here where they could have a try and, you know, and it didn't get out of hand, it didn't get messy. There's no peer pressure from their friends to do something stupid, you know, that kind of thing. I just, I just wondered how, pe you know, what, what, how people do it, what they how they well, tackle it with I've their kids. I've got 38,000. For 12? Yeah. Mad ting, bruv. Whoa. Loving it. Okay, that's... Right, right, well, Lit. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna You're going to get back. a lot of money today. Payday to Miss Silly P. Payday. About time. Cha-ching. Well, now I'm back up to what I was I on. have to <laughs> say, this loading these bales on is... With this bale grab as well... Oh, it's... Well, I say bale grab. This bag lifter, bag handle, whatever you want to call it. It's brilliant. I have it's to say, though, so it's a very easier. tight fit. Getting in there. But what, now I you've done it though. To <laughs> now you've done it though. You know how to get in there. It should be easier on the second run, shouldn't it? Hopefully. Well, cool. this is me we're talking about. I'll, I'll yeah. let you talk uh, a little bit more way while you're going around, you're loading it and that kind of thing, because I'm, I'm, I'm doing it again. I'm talking a lot. Well, I'm just driving right now. The party was good. It was it nice was... seeing everyone because we hadn't seen them since March. We hadn't because uh, of the nice whole lockdown up. thing. But yeah, um, it was it was out. My yeah. eldest twenty fourth, and it was uh, my niece's twenty fourth, and it was a Farm Dog's birthday too. He was three. The day we had the party. On the day we of the party, it was his three. third birthday. Yeah. Well, no, we've had him for under three years, but he well, was three. Under three years. We got him in yeah. the November that he was born. So yeah, like, he was born in August. We got him. He was born. But um, yeah, it yeah. was it was cool, wasn't it? It was really nice, um, and you know, it was a party. It was great fun, and my brother's barbecue, and oh, it's, it, it was it was me. Yeah, everyone was feeling it a little bit yesterday, though, weren't they? Yes. I think for me it was a it was one of those realization things again of wow, you're getting older, mate. You mm -hmm. can't cope with doing this part in thing. <laughs> Not like Normally, you used to. Normally, like we go to bed at half ten, but we might talk for a bit. But last night, all of like 
the kids, the children, your children, were in bed yeah. by like. I think the entire eight. household was. Everyone's like, you know what? No, did sleep. Myself. I had a great sleep though. And Mrs. Silly P slept out in the garden, not just in the garden. I've got a ten, a ten teepee, it's called, that I got from a company called Nordic Outdoors up in the Lake District, and I was, I was going to buy one for years. I kept going into Nordic Every Outdoors. Every time saying, we'd go up to the Lake District, I Dad get one. would stand there and look at it, and I would say, "Send it," and he's like, "No." But I wasn't even there when you got it though. So, no. but you finally got it, and you've been waiting to use it been because we have it. no space in our garden. It's but fantastic. their garden is huge. I mean, it's one of those things that I mean, I'll never use it till it's to its fullest extent. However. I know that it will withstand. I mean, these things have been used on on like Siberian expeditions, and with a, um, a tent stove in there, or a firebox stove, they, they've used them in minus 35 degree temperatures in howling winds and coming. These things are brilliant and really well made. I put it up on my own. It was a it was a piece of cake. I mean, it took a little while to work out, you know, what I needed to do where. It was but, your first time putting it up. Yeah, so. but once it was up, you think actually, you know what? And it's so well made as well. I didn't think Mrs. City P was going to sleep out. I really didn't because she's she not. She said she wasn't earlier in the evening, but I think oh, by the no, time. Oh, no, 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 no. What's going on? What? What? Those bales decided they were going to just. Oh, no. It's not one of those ones. If I try and stack extra ones on, it's not going to like it. I started to put an extra bale on, and the ones that were already on there decided, no, we're going to jump off now. Yeah, we're fine. Thanks. <laughs> okay, I might just put those a shove back on. Maybe I need to strap them all down, then try and put. Oh, I don't know. That could just end up horrible, couldn't it? I could try and unstrap them to sell them and find they're just all catapult into the into the air. Oh, that went on a lot better, unfortunately. Um, but I think by the time everyone was going to bed, we were just like, Sleep I wherever. did not actually make it to a bed. No, you didn't. You fell asleep on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> we won't yeah, go into why, will we, silly G? No. <laughs> I think you can probably imagine. I, I surprisingly, I had a great night's sleep, but yeah, my but back. It was nice sleeping in uh, my own bed last night, though. Yeah, but yeah, we had a lovely weekend, and yeah, really pleased with my tent. So everything went where we're there. I'm, I'm more inclined. What happened there? More inclined now to use that. Uh, going like proper camping, I like, go to the Lake District or go wherever. I'm really happy about putting that up. And, and going not, like proper camping, yeah. I don't like camping. When we were little, and you'd put the tent up in the garden, never made it a whole night in the tent because yeah, I just don't like it. But you were a lot like younger it. then. You did I a lot more DV. with cadets. You did, yeah. With air cadets, and you did a load, and DV, you did it. Yeah. I mean, it's the same. Like we were talking about everything else. It's, it's not everyone's cup of tea, is it? You know. No. Some people will do it with through gritted teeth, and they'll be like, "Yeah, okay, that was all right. I don't ever want to do it again." Other people just absolutely love it. I think right. on DMV, I was just so exhausted, I honestly didn't care. I just wanted to go to bed. But I spent most of my youth, you know, because I was an air cadet as well, we would go out and we would do, like, survival weekend type things. But I don't think the air cadets do as much anymore because of, like, health and safety type stuff and that kind of thing. But we would build bivvies and we would sleep under bivvies or tarp shelters. And that was just normal. It didn't bother us in the slightest. You just kind of got on yeah. with it. And I love all of that. When we were at Cadets, I never actually did camping. We just went to Nestcliff, so. Nestcliff and Longmore, yeah, for those exercises. That was good stuff, good times. It was good times. How many Very more have you got of yours to clear? Because I'm. Um, you know. I'm on my second lot now, and then I have eight more I need to pick up, but then I can help you. But we have 26 minutes. Yeah, no, I know, I'm just, you know. I, I really don't mind, like I say, for me. This Let's Play is different, and we, and we have talked about it before, and I'm not going to go into it all again about, you know, in, in essence is a stream, but recorded, you know. So we are just doing an hour straight through, whatever we get done that time is whatever we get done. If people are looking for massive progress in every episode and 95 jobs completed, and you're not going to get that watching this, it's just not what we're doing. You know, we are probably going to do a few jobs off screen, and we've also talked about in some episodes we will have started a job, and what we will do is finish one job off and start another one within an episode. So technically, we are doing two separate things. But when you think about yeah. it, in the last episode, because of the machinery we used, we actually we mowed, windrowed, bailed, and wrapped. So if we had we done that with separate that machinery, would, if we did it on our own or with separate machinery, we would have been there forever. That baler, though, is one of like my new favourite bits of equipment. Oh, that fast bail. It's good, it's isn't it? It's so 
it's amazing because again that would have taken like twice as long yeah so I mean in essence we did thing. four jobs with both of us doing it in one pass around the field you followed me we got yeah. four jobs done within one so whilst it looks like all, all you did in that episode was make silage bales yeah but realistically if I'd have done that on a let's play that probably would have taken me a couple of episodes oh, you yeah. know if not more because I probably would have done some off screen to be fair because when looking at the amount of barrels we've got on this, just this field alone, on my own, that would have taken me ages. So, yeah, you know, I, I, I don't know. Again, however you feel about it, it's, it's entirely up to you. We always say, feel free to leave a comment, and we do appreciate the comments, you know. And I would say probably 99% of them are all very positive and very friendly and very helpful. Yeah. Uh, very nice. Yeah. It is raining right now. Obviously not in-game. In real life. Ah, uh, oh yeah, you had your, had your new window, window fitted today. Fit yeah. today. Up in the so, loft. Perfect timing. Or attic if you're American. Yeah. Jeez. I'm glad you know, uh, I can't hear it. No. I know that I'm not, what I'm doing at the moment is not how this is supposed to be loaded. This is supposed to be, I think, a 10 bale trailer, isn't it? 12 yeah. bale. Supposed to be a 12 bale trailer, and I'm loading up on top, so I don't know if the straps will actually go onto this. Um, maybe, maybe not. If they do, great. <coughs> Sorry, apologies for the cough. Um, if they don't, it's not a problem. I'll, I'll just go really slow. <laughs> they should work off, and they do. Um, yeah. But this is the first time using this bale trailer. So you on your next Probably. load over? Or? Yeah, I'm already here. Oh, okay. Well, blimey. <laughs> So I think that, that's what's something we wanted to highlight. If you are one of those people that watches both of our videos, um, that, you know, doing any jobs like this, there are so many different ways of doing it. You can do it like this manually, you can do it with forks, you can do it with grabs, you can do it with whatever, or you can use an auto stack, but if you've got mods involved as well, add different mods, you can do auto loading, where the bells just pop on. So there are so many different ways of doing the same job, you know, in essence, how much time you've got, how comfortable you are doing something, whether you find something relaxing and therapeutic or you know for me i'm just i just enjoy doing this because i just i know oh, I oh you can't i just want to get the bales on yeah and you know, if you're on your own and you just it's just a case if i just want to get it done let's just crack on you know i'll be honest if i'm playing a let's play on my own that i'm not recording i use auto load trailers quite a lot you know yeah. because for me if i've done a lot of bales i just want to get them sold I will literally just grab an auto load, whiz around the field, bang, 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 bang get to the sale point, get rid of them. Mm -hmm. I know that's not realistic farming. That doesn't happen in the real world. There's no bale trailer made that you drive past and the bale pops onto the trailer on its own. It doesn't happen. I know that. Um, but, and that's the thing, isn't it? So, uh, it, you know, it depends kind of in what context you're playing and how you want to actually go about doing it. Um, and I think mm. with, with seasons as well, we talked about seasons before, I'm more inclined to use Seasons when I'm doing a Let's Play that I'm not recording. If I'm just playing for myself, because the immersion that gives, I love that. I just think it's brilliant. Again, it's not always conducive to making videos. It can be done, and it does work, and it does work for a lot of people, but it's not always, you know... The Did I stuck. do this before? <laughs> oh, you're stuck again. I'm glad you're I can't stuck. see. I'm, I'm, I'm just, just I'm struggling. Just, I'm Your in my Zen state. Low, isn't it? Mine's what? Is your trailer bigger? Uh, I really hope not. Good luck. That's what I'm going to say. I'm, I'm prepared to, to sacrifice speed for money. You know what? <laughs> I'm just going to try and unload them, and if I have to like push with my tractor, I'll, I will do that. So I've got this really weird dilemma now, that when I actually come to re-strap this, I've got to undo the straps and re-strap it. I'm worried if I undo the straps, these are going to catapult all over the field. And if they do, that's be, we, that'll be where my episode ends, and you may want to just carry on watching Silages. <laughs> <laughs> because I may just walk uh, away. I may walk, uh -oh. walk away and have a, a little think to myself somewhere. Um, <sighs> What's up? <laughs> I, really, I don't want to know, do I? <laughs> They're stuck. They're stuck? What do you mean? <laughs> Oh, that didn't work. Uh, oh, no, 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 no. Give me a second. Uh, operating position. Let's detach that. I think because uh, the last uh, bone. Oh, this is a mess. There's trees here, so I can't see anything. 
time. Where that brilliant console is shooting. Okay. Can that this really nice? could either go perfectly or. I don't know what we're having the same problem again. Your mic keeps cutting out. Oh, it uh -oh. doesn't mind anyway. Oh no. Oh no. You know what? I'm going to come over. I need to have a look. Oh you no! I'll wait till. Oh no! What's up? They're stuck, and none of them. Right. It's where every time you start raising your voice, it keeps cutting out. Okay, a few of them have gone in. Right, but I've got the disc grab. Will this grab help with the, on the telehandle? Will uh, I be able to get them from wherever they are? Oh uh, yeah. Okay, you know what I'll do. Whatever one I put on now, I'll strap that and I'll bring them over. It doesn't matter how many I've got on here. We'll just take over what I've got. We're gonna be able to so apologies for anyone that's watching mine. If if Synergy is cutting out, obviously if you're watching her, she oh, won't be cutting out. But so if I cut out at all on yours? Uh, I'm not sure. Why aren't those selling? They're in the. Oh, this it's not a, a collab video and disaster in the video. Yeah, it's another one a bit of a disaster every now and again. So what are we up to? 12, 14, 16, 18, 20 bales on there. Might be a bit heavy to pull actually. Right, so what I've got to do is from the cab, I need to. Oh no, go, go. Oh, some of them went. That's actually strapped way better than I thought it was going to. I've got one bale that might not like it. But I think this might be a little bit too heavy. There might be a little bit lollopy all over the place. But, hmm. We've got some movement. Oh, blimey. If this lot topples over. And now they're not selling. I don't get it. They're not selling at all. Well, some of them did. But now I'm pushing them into the thing. And now they're just staying You there. may have they're to drop them in. Well, I'll come uh, over and we'll have a look. We'll see. I don't know. I, I, sometimes sell points can be finicky and triggers can be a little bit, you know, a little bit wonky donkey. I'm way overloading the axles on this trailer. That, there's no way. These would have just collapsed by now. I think the whole chassis would have just crumbled. <laughs> oh, dear. What am I doing? Well, I'm, I'm now really worried I'm not going to get in. I'm not, I'm You're doing. not going to get in here. You're not going to get into this area. It's nothing to be like that about it. I'm I, know, I know I'm big, but blimey. I'm joking. Where am I coming to? Robert Arkin's just up this main road, isn't The it? path... Uh, the thing is, the road down there is so small, I thought it was a path. <laughs> oh, dear, okay. Let me open my little sat nav. Where are we? I should see your little dot coming up in a minute as I get closer. I hope. I'm just trying to avoid rolling this thing over. No, 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 I've got a high speed wobble on. No, 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 slow down. Slow down. I think potentially the weight on the back is lifting the front axle off the ground. As soon as I started to accelerate, then I've kind of lost control a little bit. Oh, yeah, I see it. There we go. I don't, I, in, let's be honest, in the real world, you wouldn't be transporting these down the road on, on telly hand, I wouldn't have thought. You probably would have a tractor on standby and that would be pulling it, but. Where's the turning? Oh, okay. What I'll do is pull this over by the side of the road and hopefully don't disappear into that ditch, otherwise, that could be a problem too. Let's put them just there. Let that car go past. Let's disconnect that. So, have you still got some all over the place, have you? Yep. <laughs> ah! Oh, did you just get hit by a lorry. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> I'm just worried now, a lorry's going to hit my bales and send the whole trailer all over the place. But right, oh yeah, blimey, this is tight, isn't it? Mm-hmm. Well, okay. Yeah. Oh, well, good grief. Yeah, yeah, uh huh? <laughs> but where's the cell point? Oh, okay. Through there. Right, let's have a look. Let's have a look at this, shall we? I need Mr. Silly P to say, does that mean you're going to get there the money There we go, gone. Now? Yeah, the trigger's just oh, a bit no, higher. I got them. Got you got the money. money, did you? Yeah. How did you get... What's going on? Hmm. How, how does it know they're your bales? I have no clue. There we go. It went. Oh, well, all we'll do is you. if you get the money for all of it, then we'll just split it. Or you give me whatever you think's right. It's actually, oh, wow. Know. That's fancy, that is. What is? The 
fail. Oh, it, honestly, thing. it's the best thing ever. This, this is this is one of my favourite mods. When people ask me what's your favourite mod, it's not necessarily something fancy. It's not a tractor. It's that this thing, for me, was an absolute game changer when it came out, and I use it on everything, and I absolutely adore it. So, Thank what you. we oh, can there's do. One on the yeah, that's roof. all right. That's why I've got a telehander. Uh, another little thing to point out: the scorpion, ki the scorpion king, the scorpion has the longest reach of telehanders. I think in game, I'm pretty sure it is. It has a Thank really you, nice long boom. That's all right. I don't know if I'm going to be able to sell mine now. Although I do know if it all goes horribly wrong, I'll just use this kind of. There we yeah. go. So I still find it insane, like how far the game farming simulator has come. You know. When you, I, I say that a lot. When you can't think about FS15 when we first started playing this, and you it look at it basic, now, and you know? yeah, but the thing is, we people played like FS09, and I, I never played it that that far back. But when you we look at people's videos, we didn't know this was a thing till that Christmas when they got the game. No, and it's and it and and it's still kind of, it frustrates me a little bit when when the new versions come out and when people come on and play this, you know, it's rubbish, it's this, it's that, you can't do. When you think how far this has come, I mean it is, and I do think we get to a point we take so much for granted. We really do, you know, it does this, it does that, all these lovely little touches that when the game first came out were a kind of, you know, were big news. When they were announcing all the new features of the game, they were big news. Now it's kind of like, oh yeah, you know, okay. You know, the birds in the field, when you drive around they fly off, you know, that was massive. <laughs> when the game when came out, you drive oh, you know. into crops and yeah. new crop bends. Yeah, and all that stuff, it's like, and people are like, yeah, and, that, and that's the problem, we, it becomes too normal, we get a little bit too au fait and we're like, oh yeah, okay, well, we want something new now, we're, we're kind of bored of that, let's get something it's new. Insane, and it's, though, it's talking about like any game though, we were looking at Far Cry 6, and oh, Assassin's yeah. Creed, uh, oh, I don't know yeah, the called. Viking one. The graphics, not even just the game, just the graphics, and how far it's come to the point that it literally looked like a movie the Assassin's Creed trailer. On, honestly, that, that one. It I've played a load amazing. of the Assassin's Creed games, and what was my, my favourite? Oh, Black Flag. I Black just Flag. loved that he, game. This was before he started his channel. He was obsessed. He would spend, like, he would stay up so late. Oh, man. Shipboarding. Ship oh, stuff. I loved it. Oh, lost some already. You're getting the money, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Uh, 16. That I need to keep a tally of this. Sixteen thousand, forty-five thousand, three thousand. Did you say sixteen forty-five thousand? Sixteen thousand. Then you came up forty-five thousand, and another one came up saying three thousand. Well, all we'll do is once you've got all the finances in, once we've got all the bells in, we'll just decide how we're going to split it, how how you want to go about it. Because obviously, my field was much bigger, so I've got more bells than mine. But we both work together to do it, so it, it doesn't. It really doesn't yeah. bother me how we split. All I want to do is make sure we come out with this with more money than we started. Well, so, I went from 32 to just over 100,000 from the bells I sold. So we've definitely made oh, profit today. Minty. Oh, that's lovely. That's good to know. So I'm if you want, excited you, to get yeah. into crops as well. Well, yeah, we are going to, and that's because you know our, everything's changing. We're going to be able to get our f animal feed and stuff going a little bit quicker. Our get turnover and stuff faster. will be a bit faster. You know. Yeah. It, you know, it, it will be. We could have skipped time, and there were so all different ways we could have done it on seasons. We could have sped up time. We could have done all sorts of things. Um, and I think because of the way we're set up and the way we're playing, we're not like I'm doing on Stone Valley, where I'll spend six hours in a potato harvest. Myself and CDG aren't sitting playing for hours, and hours, and hours, and hours, and hours at a time. We'll come on. We'll play for an hour. We'll record. We'll come up. She'll do a bit herself. I'll carry on doing my my own channel stuff. So it's not like we're doing this as a co-op and we're spending 12 hours a day on this. You know, we are coming on playing for an hour. Videos. <laughs> yeah, I know, some you of do mine spend are. 12 hours on your videos. Yeah, some of them go really quickly and you can do a video in no time. Other times, you know, you sit there, play for eight hours and you get a 45 minute video out of it. You know, it's, but that's just the way it is, isn't it? That's, but the thing is, I don't mind that because I'm enjoying what I'm doing. I'm enjoying playing the game. I'm enjoying, you know, I'm very lucky. I've said that before. Anybody who has a job doing something they love doing, it's not a job anymore. It's, it stops being a job. It's just fun, isn't it? You, you know, that's, you're incredibly lucky if you're at that point. Yeah. How many more have you got to uh, sort out? Uh, I'm just getting my last load now. Oh, fantastic. Yeah, ready. I don't know if I'll be able to get this one. Oh, no. I will. 
disconnect that. Let's go again then. That was that was profitable. Oh, did you do it? Did I do what? Did it go? Did they go in okay? Yeah, that's why all your money went up because I sold them all. Wow, they sure went well. Yeah, what you need to do is when you drive into that yard, if you drive straight up up the little double track, and you know there's the gate at the end that's open a little bit. Yeah. If you drive oh. right up and get your tractor in there, then back round into the bell cell point, it's actually not too bad. You can kind of get in and out fairly easy. I know the problem is yours lifts up, doesn't it? So I suppose that's why. Yeah, it means even you if the you go to well. the yeah. Never thought of that. Sorry. There's me saying, sure, yeah, get the Ursus and get the extra one that takes yeah, more the thing bales. Is we, we didn't know the different cell points for this, and we didn't know how tight that area would be. We didn't. You're absolutely correct. But uh, yeah, this is. Um, I'm, I'm really pleased. This is going way better. I, I did have a look through the mod hub at all the various different bale trails that are like this. Um, oh, it's really annoying me. Oh, I was up Lusatia. I was thinking earlier, what? I did Upper Lusatia was the last Let's Play I did on FS17 before moving over. And that was another one. I adored that. I just loved playing on that because it was just easy going. It was back to basics, small machinery, just pootling around, and that was brilliant. But then there's also something really intoxicating about like Stone Valley. And not just Stone Valley, but like big American maps. Being able to get the big machinery out and doing massive harvests and yeah. I like that, you know? So I suppose I don't know. I mean, for me, it's always fun. The English maps and stuff. I love. I love oh, the I country lanes. I forgot lanes. the name of it. It was an alien gym map. Uh, and it was like an island, or actually, like a couple of islands. Actually. Spectacle. Spectacle Island. The one where the fields weren't fields yet; they had trees yeah. in them. Yeah, I liked that one because you felt the progress when, like, yeah. you cut the trees, you ploughed it, and then there was crops in there. Like, I, I liked that one because yeah, there was. Good and that was the first map that Jim put stuff on for 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 well for me, wasn't it? Yeah. It had Miss Silly P Farm on it, and then obviously then with Sussex, I mean, blew me away on that with all the stuff with CDG Bakery and Silly oh, Lane amazing. and the brewery. And, oh, it's amazing. <clears throat> the guy is so nice. It was so kind of him to do that, and he does that for loads of people. You know, people that help him out, people that you know, he, he puts stuff in for them, whether it be farms or road names or I mean, loads of people did it when Lone Oak Farm first came out on PC um, Bullet Bill on a lot of the, the um, American mailboxes they all had names of different YouTubers all people he knew people that helped him and wow. it was such a cool touch um, but obviously then when it ported over to console they weren't allowed to have them on there for some reason don't know why so we never got them you didn't get the names on the boxes and stuff I suppose because of coding and stuff like that as well I don't know but um, and I'm pretty sure oh, I can't remember whose map it was now one of the maps as well they had on in one of the cemeteries on the gravestones there were people's Whoa. names. I mean, that's a bit more macabre, isn't it? But, um, yeah. But it's cool. It's, I, I like that when people put stuff in. And if you look onto... Um, oh, blimey. Uh, Little Norton. Um, because I did a first map tour and, and um, GB Modding uh, came out and said, oh, would you do the tour of the map and chat to me about it before and when he was making it. So when you go into the um, store, my logos up on the wall which so I was absolutely over the moon with I just think it's brilliant I love that interaction with modders and creators and you know and everybody in the community I think it's just brilliant you know? it's a very happy community for the most part there's always some miserable so and so that wants to ruin it for oh, I just went down the wrong mm. so yeah if you're if you're watching mine thinking this is all great Miss Silly P's doing all these bales and the whole point was he was going to make a load of money you need to watch Silly G's because the money's going up on hers if you want to see the progress and how much money the next episode you'll see because we're going to sort of sort the money out and we'll have it sort of ported over so I'll have whatever money we made will be in here but that will also then show you as well if you haven't done silage bales or don't do silage bales they can be incredibly lucrative depending on the map and the prices you're going to get in that kind of thing. So what's up what have you done this time just, I went down the wrong road and now I'm stuck and just. <laughs> You're having a mare! You're having a mare today! Today's not a good day for driving, okay? I'm, I apologise, but I guess it's hilarious for you guys watching, so. It's probably not. People don't. Well, some people do. Some people just find it really frustrating, but. It yeah, is don't frustrating. Worry about it. Uh, it happens. Well, don't sometimes. worry about it. I don't know how to turn around. <laughs> not everything goes to plan. No plan survives contact with Mr. CDP. That's the first rule. And now a car's just driven into me. It's Murphy's Thank door, you. isn't it? So, wow, okay, well, now I'm stuck. 
Honestly, you need to. S I can't move. I'm Seriously. Gonna go into the ditch. Okay, well, I have no choice. What about if you disconnect the trailer? Can you disconnect the trailer then move? I am just going to have to drive back. down somewhere and turn around because I can't turn around in this road. Oh, I just missed the turning where I could turn around. Oh, oh. Can I do this in cab? Oh, I don't know. Is it worth me trying to do one in cab? Let's see if I can do one in cab. It's lining it all up is the tricky bit I find. Like I've said before, depth of perception for me in cab is horrendous. When are they going to bring out VR for the farming? That would just. I thought you could get in this way. How close am I? No, it's a bit further. A bit further. A bit further. Is that right? Did that work? No way. Did that go on? <laughs> we'll make a farm review. Yep, yeah, Mr. Silly Pete. That did. That went on. <gasps> no way, Pedro. That's amazing. That did not go to plan. Okay, let's try this again. <laughs> So because we're not in the same field together, this is going to be a very interesting one for any of you guys that are watching both. <laughs> okay. Um, turning, where is it, where is it, where is it? It's here, it's the That's first right, turning. Right. Not the second one. Keep going down the grass track. And then... Oh, there is. Oh, miles away. Too far away from the bail trailer. Well, well, well. We are getting more done, that's for certain. Um. Um. Oh, we're down to the last three minutes. Where is the last hour oh, gone again? I just looked and it said like 15. What? No, three. Three whole uh, minutes left. Sorry. <laughs> Don't mean to get angry, just, you know. Just <laughs> testing me, like the logs. Oh, it's going to be one of those again. People are watching going, oh, that was painful to watch. Do we have to watch it again? I'm sorry. No, the thing is, it wasn't painful for me. I loved it. I thought it was brilliant. What? Logging is not always perfect. Nothing is, you know. Sometimes you have... I've said before, I've had episodes where nothing goes to plan. It just doesn't seem to work. It doesn't matter what you do. And then people will say, oh, you're rubbish at that. Not always. Sometimes I'm very good at lots of things. Other times it's just a disaster. <laughs> Nothing seems to work. And that's just the way things are. You can't do a lot about that, can you? But no. we are making money. What I do need to sort out, I'm pretty sure my animals, my cows, are going to need some Tomix ration again. So I may need to go and buy some more before we can get some more made. If we do make a load of money off this, it might not be a bad idea to just go and buy a load, I think. Yes, how much? Uh, 29,000. How much did you deliver? Twelve. Oh, eight. No, oh, that's nine. What? I don't know. <laughs> some. How many have you got some left? Bales. That's probably the best way to work out. I sold some bales. Where's the trailer? There it is. Well. Today has been eventful. It Let's has been a bit, yeah, but, I, but I'm I'm really pleased at how much money we're making off these bales. I, I honestly uh, didn't think we'd make as much. It's fine. <laughs> I didn't think we'd make fine. as much as we have. I'm pleased oh, yeah. how this has worked out. The bag lift. I'm, ba I'm pleased how the bale trailer's worked out. I'm I'm just yeah. So I just got all right. Don't worry about it. It has been a productive episode. Well, money wise, yes. There we go. We're on. So, we've got a minute left. Any other words of wisdom you want to add in, Silly G, while we're doing this? Smash the like button, my dudes. <laughs> <laughs> you know the drill. <laughs> you know the drill. Smash that like button. Let's Absolutely. Smash it. Just, all of you are smashing it anyway, but smash it again. You know? If you don't subscribe yet to either of us, please do. Please um, do. I will put the link again in the description, um, and I will put a, a, a pinned comment on the on the video so if you're not sure it should be in there as well all the new um, mods will be in my description to the video yeah so if you're not sure what mods we're using she will put them in hers um and yeah if you want to leave a comment absolutely feel free to do so we are we are reading all of them we are responding to them we're kind of trying to do what we do i'm trying to give everyone a little bit of what they want kind of thing i know it's not always yeah. going to work um if you want to share either video again feel free you're, oh, you're behind me. 
Oh, you're yeah. back over. Nice. Oh, that's a good way to finish yeah, over back. here. Fantastic. Um, whatever you should choose to do out of all of those, as always. Thanks for watching. Thanks for watching. <laughs>